Hey y'all, what's up? Please excuse my background. I'm at my mom's house on the floor. Throwback, I know. I was on Instagram like two days ago that I wanted to try some new shampoos and conditioners. Y'all know me, I don't use nothing special on my hair. I think the last regiment product I used was Cantu products. That, I have not been taking care of my hair at all. Like as far as washing it every two weeks and all that other stuff. Um, one thing differently I did do with my hair um, I stopped cutting it so much because I used to cut, every time I would take my braids down, I would cut like this much of my ends off. So I was cutting too much of my hair, that's why, well, I mean, it's growing, but it probably would have grown a lot faster or something if I didn't cut as much. So this is what I've done so far, and I'm just taking my braids down from my U part. So I have, um, two more braids to take out. I just took this third one out. Well, yeah, I just took this third one out. So, I'm going to continue to take these out. And then, hopefully, I won't get lazy. <laughs> and I go through with the whole video. Real quick, my braiding pattern. Because my hair is so thick. Um, I do big braids in my hair. Because I found that my hair lays a lot flatter. Like my wigs, like almost a sewing. I only do it in my hair. I don't do it on clients or nothing. But it's my hair, so I don't be caring. But I do them kind of big. And then I would take some thread and I would thread it. Like, you see how this is hanging? I hate when my hair is in my wigs and my hair is just like hanging like this. So I would take these two braids, fold them over, and I would sew it down. Not tight, but I would just take some thread and sew it down. That's how I've been doing my braiding patterns for the past probably two, three years now. Um, because I just hate when my hair is rubbing against my units and stuff because I feel like it breaks like that. I don't know. I'm not professional. I know what I'm talking about. But it just seems like it'll just be friction and all that stuff. So with me sewing my base down like that, almost like a sewing, it doesn't move. It doesn't rub against my caps. It's just in place until I take it out. So it's almost like I'm wearing sewing in my hair. That's why I haven't washed my hair in about a month. The longest I've been without washing my hair, I'm embarrassed to say, is two and a half months. Um, but if you think about it, it's almost like a sewing when you keep it in for about two or three months. But... I used to wash my hair every two weeks, but working all that other stuff, I ain't have time. So, I'm trying to get back into the regimen of, like, washing my hair like I'm supposed to. Right now, I'm just detangling uh, my hair. And I always detangle my hair um, before I wash it. If you watch my old videos on my hair, because when you get in the shower or the tub, you don't get as much fallout. It doesn't shed as much when you already pre-detangle it out. Especially with my hair texture, I can do that. And then when I wash it, it's almost like putting your hands through silk. I part in four sections. Like I said, I have a video on all this. I still do four sections. I wash the back part first. Well, the two back parts first. And then I come up here and wash like the two pigtails. So it's almost like you're making four pigtails in your head. Two here, two here. That's how I wash my hair. I have two or, yeah, sometimes I use two clips. But four clips make it easier on each side. Take the clip down, wash this side, condition it, pin it back up, wash this side, clip it, pin it back up. I do four sections because it will come out like silk. You don't have to worry about tangles. And when you blow dry it, the shedding is very minimal. So that's what I do. So I'm just going to continue to take these braids out, detangle it, and then I'll show you the products I'm going to wash my hair with.
So I just detangled all my hair. Well, for the most part. So I had like a total of um five big braids in my hair. Maybe six counting my anchor braid ankle braids. My anchor braids where my um I connect my wigs to. Dang, I got a freaking knot in the back of my head. Got a little nap. I detangle first because it's just easier to deal with. Like I don't have to worry about getting all knotted up while I'm washing my hair and all that stuff. So now I'll just put this it's kind of cute. <laughs> put this up in like a bun or something. The products I'll be showing you probably in the next video so I can do a review on it. I ended up getting the Icy. Yes, y'all got it. Y'all recommend this the most out of all the conditioners and shampoos I asked you guys about. This is the Icy Moist. I also looked it up on Makeup Alley and it got great reviews for the most part. Um, it's very affordable. Where's my receipt? I paid $2.97 from Walmart for each bottle. So that works for me. I bought the shampoo and I bought the conditioner for it. They also had a three minute miracle. I'm assuming that's like a reconstructor. But y'all, I will say, although I'm not relaxed, I do use the Afro G products still. And I fell in love with the two minute reconstructor. Team two minute reconstructor. I still use this product. And I learned about Afrogy years ago because I did have one relaxer one time and I didn't get another one because I was going to school and college and I didn't know who was gonna keep up a relaxer for my hair. I have super old videos from like 0809, I believe, when I had relaxed hair. I didn't big chop. The first relaxer didn't take as well as most people would take, I guess, relaxers. So it was easy for me to grow my hair back out. And that's all I did was literally just wear someone's and grew it out. I chopped about this much off after it got to about here of new growth. And that was the end of that. So I didn't do no big chop or none of that. So I still use the reconstructor. And my girl Atia, which is, I feel like she's the original YouTube guru. The reason why I still have my channel because I first seen her on YouTube years ago, and that's why I started making videos. So, shout out to Tia. She's mother YouTube. I don't care what nobody say. She is the originator. I will never, never forget Tia, and she will always be number one in my book. Two minute reconstructor that she raved about, I fell in love with, and I've been using the reconstructor ever since then. Yes, Tia, I still use this. And I use it not all the time, I use it maybe every five washes or something like that just because I feel like it just kind of gives me that strength I need back in my hair like I said I use it on my hair I'm not relaxed I understand it says for relaxed or chemical damaged hair whatever I know I'm none of that but I still use it because I feel like my hair you know still needs a little help once in a while I swear by it I think it would keep my hair strength intact as well as I don't have as much breakage as I would when I did stop using it for a while but I live by this and I have natural hair so like I said I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to use but my hair personally you see it's growing so I haven't had a problem with it let's try it raw growth oil it's an old-fashioned product I always seen in hair stores since I was little but I never use it I always use do grow um, I swear by that. I swear do grow make everything grow. Like put it on your face, your eyelashes grow. I feel like do grow is it works. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. I'm from the hood, so I don't know no better. My go-to oil. So I want to try wild growth. I see you don't supposed to use it all the time, but I just want to see how it works. Just try something different. If you use these products, let me know if you like it. I'll make another video on this when I wash and condition it, as well as when I put it in my Afrogy Two Minute Reconstructor. And oil my scalp with this. That will be up next. Hope this video helps you for all the questions I ask on Instagram. Alright. Bye.